So do you think Mrs. Miranda, like, pulled her husband's guts out? <laughs> what? <laughs> Isn't that what you do for mummies? <sighs> I don't know, May. <laughs> do you think you'd have the stomach for it? No. It probably took a lot of heart. Yep. I wish she would explain it to us. <laughs> I get it, May. <laughs> she really wrecked him. <laughs> okay, that probably stayed in place. <laughs> yeah, that should stay where it belongs. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> hey, you gotta live for your life. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> this is me, gone. Hey, wait up. You're walking, you're walking back to town. You got a lot of gall to say that. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> What's going on, guys? This is Bunzine. Welcome back to another Let's Play of Night in the Woods. So where we last left off, uh, we got to learn a bit more about B. Well, not learn more about her, but just like hang out with her more. So, uh, yesterday, May had, a uh, well, first we went around town and, like, kind of talked to some people and did, not side quests, but kind of just, like, interacted with Possum Springs for a bit. And then sort of towards the middle and the end of the episode is where we actually do some story stuff. So, May has, like, band practice with, uh, Greg and B, and then after practice, um, Angus brings up that he's gotta leave early because he's going to his parents, and, uh you have the option to either hang out with B or Greg for the rest of the night. And I decided to go and hang out with B just so I could maybe see, you know, learn more about what our relationship used to be. And may maybe we could fix what we, we used to had. I, I, I don't, I don't know. So we ended up going to uh, the Fort Lucene mall with B and, um, they start having a re reliving like their childhood of um there's like this uh store called you uh you revolution or something like that and it's basically hot topic or spencer's <laughs> for uh in an hour uh universe and it's really cute they go in there they're like oh my god it's so edgy it's so 14 in here and then b don't know why i guess she just does this but she was like b uh, uh, watch, watch the, the cash register lady for me. I'm going to steal something. So B ends up stealing a belt buckle and she actually like kind of pressures B into stealing something too. B steals a necklace. And then, uh, we're running around in the courtroom, uh, the, the food court. And, uh, B talks about how when she was a little kid, uh, she would think about looking up at the, cause the mall has like this giant skylight where you can like look outside in the, in the ceiling and she would pretend that like she could like see God and, and stuff like that. And um, she remembers the uh, the water fountain that's in the mall and how it uh, she likes how people would like spray people with the water fountain water and stuff like that. So May trying to be a good friend and also to cheer B up because B is looking pretty depressed that night, climbs all the way to the top of the roof and she finds the mechanism that controls the, the fountain and she starts squirting everybody with water and she actually makes B laugh and it's like really cute. Um, so we end the episode uh, actually returning the stuff that we stole from the store to the, uh, the, the, the cash register lady and then we end up going home and I don't know, it was kind of cute. <laughs> so I guess we're just gonna do more of that. Um, so you guys let me know what I originally thought um, in the last episode. So apparently the game diverts depending on who you hang out with more that either B or Greg. And it, apparently to get the full story, you have to play the game twice. So I thought, well, I'm already focusing on B. So let's just focus on B in this playthrough and maybe I'll come back and do uh, Greg or maybe I'll just play the game again on my own personally, personally and play uh, Greg's route. I haven't really decided yet. Uh, but anyway, let's get started. Let me check my laptop. Oh, no new messages. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Shark. Hmm. 
I need to get better at playing this bass. Play some bass? Which song? Uh, Space Dragon, Die Anywhere Else, Weird Autumn, Go Get Dead Angel Face. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Um when we were at the at the party in the woods, Greg and Angus brought this up. Uh apparently when Cole and May uh broke up, she wrote this song. <laughs> Whoa. No. No. No way I'm gonna play that one. <laughs> Too embarrassing. Aw oh, man. Alright, could play some bass. Well, um Weird Autumn was a new song from the last episode, so let's try that. Crap. back considering I don't know the song. No, that was sucky. <laughs> Never settle for less, May. All right. Uh, Space Dragon, Die Anywhere Else. Let's try Space Dragon again. I haven't tried that since the first episode.
Okay, that was a little better. My mom here? Good morning. Did you feel it last night? No? Feel what? <laughs> There's a big sinkhole two streets over. Oh, are we still getting those? I don't think those ever really go away. Swampy ground and so forth. And on a floodplain. Oh, weird. I don't want you over there nosing around it. I guarantee you I won't. I've seen sinkholes. No interest at all? Mom, they're just holes in the ground. Get back to me when, like, swallows a house or something. <laughs> we'll go see together if that happens. Deal. So what did you do last night? Went to the mall with B. Oh, Port Lucene? Yeah. I haven't been there in years. How is it? Kind of falling apart. <laughs> Empty. <laughs> There's only a dollar empire. <laughs> yeah, I expect. Everyone just goes to the outlet stores up by the interstate now. For, you know, shoes and things. Well, stop by the church if you're in the area. Will do, Mom. See ya. Mm-hmm. Bye, sweetie. Say anything else? Now that you've been home for a few days. Yeah? Have you thought about getting a ju Well, gotta go, Mom! <laughs> Bye, sweetie. <laughs> when are you gonna get a job, May? Because <laughs> when I need someone with. <laughs> when I need a job done, I get someone with a job to do that job! <laughs> oh, it's raining. Or is it just like foggy? Hmm. When did, uh, that dude, I can't remember his name, uh, Mr. Chazakov? I think he said that we could see more stars in two days, so tomorrow, I think. Yeah, he's not on the roof of his house. Cool. I like when it's foggy. A cat don't like boats on the porch. <laughs> but I am a cat. May Broski. Selmers. Now we all know how important it is to look our best. What? Our appearance is the first and sometimes last impression we make. Selmers, did, did you join a cult? Lucky for you, I happen to be a licensed dealer. Oh, okay. Of the Sylvan family of products? Oh no, she's an MLM hun! Selmers, I don't have any money. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you giving that pitch to everyone? Have you sold anything yet? Sold some to my mom. Oh no! And to Abby Krangler? This Krangler's daughter? Granddaughter. I run into her at the laundromat over by the school. One time Greg got locked inside one of the tumble dryers. <laughs> did he did he die? He wanted me to start it, but I chickened out. He definitely would have died. Tell him that. He's still mad. Wanna hear a poem? Nah, maybe another time. Yeah, I'll hear it. Sometimes, I think, and start to sink. Oh no. There's more. <laughs> Sorry. And I remember, it's October? October? I combined my two favorite months. Fall is really nice. It's the best. Days are gonna start getting shorter soon. Makes me sad. I like it. I love the fall, but hate the dark. 
I like it. You sure do. I see a raccoon. <laughs> Where? Up in Towny Century. He's a big one. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a raccoon walking around in the background. Oh, that reminds me, we gotta feed my rat babies! <laughs> we gotta get a pretzel. Oh yeah, here's our, our new journal entry, Bandit Queens. Alright, I should probably say before I do this pretzel thing, because I don't want to fuck up and waste a day. Oh, that grandma isn't here. Bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Yes, my babies will be fed. All right. Oh yeah, we should go up to the church and see if, um... Actually, let's feed them first. And we can go to the church and see if um, that homeless guy is still there. Oh, there's that little kid from earlier. Okay, we can talk to them too. I see him on the roof. Uh, what was her name? The little rat. I can't remember his name. There's a third one! Here. Where you are, third rat? There you go. Oh, there's more of you today! You need more food! Yes, you do! Alright, we fed our rat. <laughs> I think that's what the rat's name was, right? Lori? Sit if that's cool. It's cool. What you doing? Drawing. Okay. What you drawing? You know how in a movie, like a knife will go through someone's eye. <laughs> Whoa, boy, do I ever! I'm like designing an effect and makeup for that. Oh. I'm working on a horror movie. Gonna make a horror movie? <laughs> That's so rad. 
okay, maybe I'm not making it yet, but I mean, someday I could like direct it, write it, do the makeup. I have a really good scream too. Really? <laughs> ah! I want to like go to horror movie school. <laughs> I think they have those. They they have those? Yeah. I already know how to make fake blood and body parts. Sorry, it's probably boring. How in the world could that possibly be boring? I, I know, like all of them. Body parts? Horror movies. Everyone? A lot of them. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I gotta go. See ya. <laughs> Later. You see someone messed up the mural in the tunnel? Yeah, <laughs> pretty funny. I mean, very weird and and bad. <laughs> Any idea who did it? Nope. Lots of suspects, though. Yeah, whole town full of suspects. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the church. Hey, sweetie. I completely forgot where the sanctuary is. Um, you passed the door on your way here. Oh, I thought those were locked. They're locked sometimes. All doors are locked sometimes. Not like saloon doors. Cowboys just walking in and out. That's very rude. The Old West was a very rude time. <laughs> Howdy, partner! <laughs> I say, I say, this is a Powerful rude. That's like a southern gentleman. <laughs> He's classing the place up. Tarnation. Okay, mom. No more cowboy talk for you. <laughs> Dad, gum it. I gotta get back to work, sweetie. I love you. Aww. Hmm. What is this room? I want to go in. Hey again. Hey. Your mom will be pretty happy you're here. Oh, don't I know it. You not a churchgoer? No. It was when I was a kid. No. <laughs> Big fan of sleeping in? I mean, aren't you? <laughs> I can't remember the last time I've slept in. Might have been last Saturday? That's not that long ago. Been a very, very long week. <laughs> Same, honestly. When did you stop coming? When my mom stopped baking me, when I was like 15 or so. Why? I don't know. All the sitting and standing, sing this now, feel this thing now. Well, the feelings are more suggestions. Doesn't feel like it. Well, I hope you'll maybe come, su come some Sunday? Yeah, I guess I haven't seen you preach. Oh wow, preach. Kind of has a bad ring to it, huh? Talk? Hmm, that works. Hey, how are things with the whole Bruce situation? Well, we're praying and gears are turning, but they turn slow. But God can turn any gear they want, and I take comfort in that. I hope it turns out okay. Thank you, May. Hey, listen, you know, if you ever want to talk or have any questions about, like, God, Sure. You can always talk to me. It's kind of my in my job description. Okay. Huh. 
Yeah, I don't remember the last time I've been inside a church either. <laughs> Basically the same situation, because my dad never went, because he doesn't believe, but my mom comes from like a very, like, you know, Southern Baptist <laughs> uh, family. So, and where I used to live, basically all my family was like tight knit. Like my grandma literally r lived like right next door from me. Like we were all together. So my grandma always needs to go to church. My mom will just follow along with whatever my grandma does. So that meant I had to go to church, but my dad stayed at home. <laughs> it sucked. <laughs> But yeah, basically around the same time, I stopped going because my mom stopped making me go. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're more of a drifter? Yeah, but it, it's temporary. Of course. Well, we just wanted to see if you're okay up here. Yeah, Pastor Kate's been very kind. Mind if we see your set up here? What do you think, Molly? Uh... Uh... It's... fine? <laughs> Alright. Bruce? Yeah? How are you finding Possum Springs? Nice place. Nice people. How long you been in town, Bruce? I've been here for a while now. And I was here before, back in the 70s. They were looking for miners, at least for a while. Got a whole thing going here, Bruce. Yep. Pretty impressive. Uh, thanks. Well, we sure appreciate you talking to us, Bruce. It was really great to meet you. Uh, yeah, likewise. All right, troops, let's move out. Y'all got nothing else better to do. Thanks again, Bruce. Oh, they're... Oh, they're annoying. <laughs> no trouble. Leave this poor man alone. He's going through enough. So, what's your story? Uh, got no story. Like, where are you from? North of here? Uh, northeast? Worked on the railroads. Work some mines. Work some construction. How'd you end up here? Shring of bad luck. You don't have to talk about it. I never turned down that offer. Oh man. Like they're just they're just judging him. Like leave him alone. He's trying. Not everyone can have a perfect life. At least the church is helping him, that's good. I guess now we can go and, uh... Like I said, I think for now we'll focus on B. So let's go to the pickaxe and, uh... And see how she is. going got a load of rock salt to move came in early this year and like a crap load of snow shovels usually the distro place doesn't goof up like this maybe it's run by weather wizards yeah that's not a bad theory so what's up want to hang out tonight um i'm working if you want to like come along Oh, I was thinking we'd go play Putt-Putt out in Hunwick? Mate, that's actually not a bad idea. But sorry, gotta work. Aw, oh, jeez, what's even the point? Paychecks, rent, food, medicine, that kind of thing. So do you want to come along or not? <laughs> Got a lot to do today. Let's hang out. 
Yeah, let's do it. House call. Couldn't you just, like, refuse to do house calls? No. Why? It's called a job. People pay you to do it. Ideally, at least. You coming? There's a thing back here by the driveway! Yeah, she's an old lady. She's got weird shit in her yard. It, it's like a windmill! Yep. Never been back up here before. Hey, Borowski, you have now been here. <laughs> it's nice! Yeah, just a bunch of old cabins, people turn in the houses. Some hunting camps. Don't like get- <laughs> so don't like get shot or anything. Buck season isn't for a few days, right? Well, folks get impatient. <laughs> for murder! It ain't murder if it's animals. Wait, what? <laughs> That's dark. Aren't we animals? Hold that thought. You gonna knock? Thank you for coming on such short notice. No problem. I can sleep through a four on fire, but that furnace. I'll take a look at it. Ever since Jean passed, I just can't abide that thumping! Understandable. Jean was such a darling man. Hey, what did you mean by hold that thought? Wait for it. I'll never forgive them for taking him away! Mm-hmm. Ain't like I didn't treat him right. I looked it up on the internet. He didn't smell or nothing! Wait, wait for it... You can't take a woman's husband just because he's dead! Oh my god! <laughs> Lady! <laughs> I mean, maybe she has... ...a problem. She is old. So your husband was just rotting in here, and you didn't think to call nobody? <laughs> Oh no! There it is. Holy God! How come right off that couch? It's a crime. Yeah, crime was definitely committed, all right. They just couldn't abide not being able to tax him anymore. That's what it was. Well, I won't talk your ears off about it. Come take a look at my fridge while you're here. We bill by half the hour. Oh, God. Good job. Yeah, it's a nice fridge. What's the problem? Well, there's no problem. It's just a classic. An original Luna Freeze. Wow. They were all the rage when I was your age. They last forever. They make you feel so young. I saw one of those the other night when I got back into town. Oh, really? Where? Upside down under some logs in a creek at the ravine. <laughs> so, uh, furnace. Oh, yes, yes. Right through here to the basement. Sounds good. Come on, May. <laughs> All right. We'll be down there for a bit. Please remember not to lock us in. What? Last time, we sent someone, and he got locked in your basement. I assure you that that did not happen. Um, he called me. From your basement. Your man did smell a bit of booze when he came by. Oh. Okay. Hit <laughs> busted. Or something. Okay, down we go. It was nice meeting you. I don't really know who you are, little person. <laughs> well, 
almost a little crocodile back there. Oh man, I love creepy basements. And why wouldn't you? Look at all this splendor. Gee, she's got a lot of junk. Maybe she's got a few more husbands stacked in the corner. <laughs> all right, let's get this done so we can go home. Ooh, baseball bat. Ooh, a fishing pole. Fish, fish, fish! Isn't it illegal to smoke indoors? It is. Well, 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 be the criminal. It's a dummy. I'm trying to quit. So I chew on this thing. What? Notice no smoke coming out? No smoke at all? But, like, I, I've seen you smoke. Yeah, not indoors. I totally thought it was real. Where did you think the smoke was going? I thought you were swallowing it? Mate, do you know how smoking works? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not a smoking scientist, Beatrice. Good lord, what else don't you know? <laughs> didn't you go to school? <laughs> sorry I didn't get a degree in cigarettology. What even was your major in college? Kicking ass and getting rad. <laughs> That's the furnace. Yes, that's the furnace. I've decided. His name is Clanky. Okay. You just hang out. I'm gonna go fix this right quick. Don't, like, break anything. What am I gonna break? This is a basement full of crap! Oh, jeez. Okay. Shouldn't be long. Can I help? No! here then because he wanted to come along just chill out Ugh. jeez this is one old ass fan it's made of metal and you could chop your finger off say anything else about this fish 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 no what about this stuff i can't even grab this stuff oh i can grab this Ah, my old nemesis. What? <laughs> Professor Lucius Von Nomio. What? Hmm, badminton. Bandminton. Badminton. Racket. <laughs> what? Can I go up back upstairs? No, I cannot. Bet I can make something out of all this junk. Jeez. Who even would have this much junk? Yeah, okay. I can see this being useful. I need your expertise to fix a stupid furnace, Professor. How come I can't take the baseball bed? Alright, I can't carry anything else, so I'm gonna say this is enough stuff. So, got a gnome, a fishing pole, a badminton racket, and a fan. Got two wheels, and a turny thing, no wheel. Probably just need to turn the turny thing. To open up the heat pipes. To turn up the fire. I don't know. Turn up the fire? Clanky's probably got a tiny fire going and could use some help. We've all been there. Poor Clanky. To get Clanky all hot and bothered. <laughs> We'll teach Clanky how to love. 
I bet I could. Mm, I think Nomi could bite onto the turny, th <laughs> turny thing where the wheel was. <laughs> could use a racket as a handle. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, let's bite him. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> Probably could like pull him, but we're not always gonna be here to pull him. I think one good hard pull should be enough. Okay, so hmm, how much space do we have down here? Looks like not much. We got plenty of room. Looks like not much. What am I even doing? Okay, so something compact. Think, May. I wonder what Greg's up to. What was the name of that one movie? <laughs> What's Greg doing? I wonder if he figured out that thing. I remember when Casey had that job with the burger bear out in Brittle. And he let us behind the counter to make whatever burgs we wanted. But then Jeff, the manager, came in. We had to jump out the drive through window! <laughs> and Greg's leg got caught in some sort of cable. And a car almost ran him over. And he puked. <laughs> and he puked. <laughs> like, upside down. <laughs> and he, like, puked up his nose. Then he puked again, and it was like perpetual puke for like a few seconds. <laughs> and I had to pull him out. And we couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> Tie Nomi to the fan in honor of Greg. Oh, wait. What's gonna stop the fan from moving? Wreck it! What am I doing? All right, well that looks perfect. <laughs> Why isn't B stopping this? What am I doing? Got Nomi as the handle, the fan as the puller, the line connecting them, and the racket keeping the fan in place. This is amazing. Okay, done. What? I think I fixed it. Now let's see what we've got here. <laughs> yeah, we did. We? What did you do? I engineered an elegant long-term solution. God damn it. May to go, May. Please don't fix anything ever again. Like, don't even have a pet. Anything you have to maintain. Aw, oh, friggin' crap. It was totally gonna work. This is so typical. I'm gonna check the exit. Wait here. Damn it. Well? We're locked in. <sighs> I knew this was gonna happen. Stupid, stupid bee. See if you can yell? We can cut a hole in the floor! Oh my god. See if you can yell? It's not gonna work. <laughs> this is Miranda! It didn't work. Well, this knob is really old and loose. Maybe I can, like, Figure this out. I'll look around too. Yeah, you go look around a whole bunch. <laughs> now, can I use the baseball bat? No! Hmm. The one thing she could hear is this furnace when it was broken. Broken things need to be broken. Okay, am I gonna break it? <gasps> now I can have the baseball bat! Yes! Hmm. Well, it's the one tool I do know how to use. A tool for beating ass! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Piece of crap furnace! Wow, 
that is pretty loud. Yeah, jeez. Surprised I can't hear that back in town. Okay, cool, she's coming. Thank God. This thing is gonna blow up her house. Uh, thank me? More like? <laughs> hey, Mrs. Miranda, you locked us in. <laughs> well, that was fun. Uh-huh. You all right? She gave us lemonade. Yeah. Not like lemonade? Such a nice night out. <laughs> Not like lemonade? It's fantastic. Then what's up? Nothing. Just tired. Worked all day. I'm all hyper. Good for you. Ugh, you are zero fun. Yep. You need, like, some magical shit to, like, give you a new perspective. Let me know when that happens. Wouldn't want to miss it. I'm gonna make you happy, B. Oh, fireflies. Aww. I miss fireflies. There's none where I live. Here. B, <laughs> I'm giving you fireflies. Wow. <laughs> Are you like a firefly whisperer or something? They just like me, I guess. That's... You're an interesting person, May Brodsky. No, Miss Miranda... <laughs> no, Mrs. Miranda's an interesting person. Granddad said being interesting is all you can hope to be. Well, mission accomplished. Woohoo! Aww. You know... I have to say, this would have been a much less exciting evening if you weren't along for the ride. <laughs> along for the ride? <laughs> See? I'm good to have around! I mean, you can certainly beat the shit out of a furnace. <laughs> I can beat the shit out of anything! You should, like, channel that aggression you always have into something useful. Eh, Dr. Hank said uh, way back I needed to repress it. Press. Not like learn to deal with it? Yeah, that doesn't sound healthy. You're, you're not supposed to hold that shit in. He specifically said repress. Uh, okay. Hmm. So, do you think Mrs. Miranda, like, pulled her husband's guts out? <laughs> what? <laughs> Isn't that what you do for mummies? I don't know, May. <laughs> Do you think you'd have the stomach for it? No. It probably took a lot of heart. Yep. I wish she would explain it to us. <laughs> I get it, May. <laughs> she really wrecked him. <laughs> okay, that probably stayed in place. <laughs> yeah, that should stay where it belongs. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Hey, you gotta live for your life! <laughs> Bye. This is me. Gone. Hey, wait up! You're walking- you're walking back to town. You got a lot of gall to say that. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> How cute! That 
was adorable. How's work? No? Better than the glass factory. Is it? I've mined, I've ran machines. Now I get to slice steaks. Mmm, steak. Wait, you work at a deli? And at hot salamis? I mean, it's easier on the back, that's for sure. But like, do you like it? I like having a paycheck. Fair. Paychecks, the sweetest meats of all. What'd you do tonight? Oh, you know, stuff. Tired. I feel like I just did a day's work. You know, there are places you can get paid for work these days. Oh, really? Yeah, they call it working. Huh. You kids with your slang. <laughs> working. Slang you could pick up at work. Okay, yes. Point made. Um, what about those boxes I asked about in the crawl space? Hmm, I'm thinking about it. Watch some TV with me? <laughs> yeah. Perfect timing. Garbo Malloy is starting. Again? <laughs> Don't we have any other channel? <laughs> no! <laughs> ah, yes! You know, we like to get political here. <laughs> gotta do it, gotta! You hear about this new law on the books? Pirating a movie online, you know about that? I do. Punishable by up to 10 years in prison. <laughs> wow, and here I've been trying to get in the hard way. <laughs> he has, folks. Wonder if pirating a movie about first degree murder earns you more prison respect than one about grand larceny. And boy, you know what I think about that law? What, Garbo? That's a whopper! <laughs> this is so dumb. Coming up next, stupid sandwiches. Why do you watch this, Dad? <laughs> All right, he doesn't say anything else. <laughs> Work in gur 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 angry furnace. <laughs> and she drew a little <laughs> dead mummy. <laughs> Oh, God. All right, going to bed. Oh, wait, let, uh, let me check my, um, Let me check my, uh, computer. Oh, I kind of feel bad because I'm ignoring Greg because I'm focusing on one story. Hey, punk, what you do tonight? Got trapped in a basement. Beat up a furnace. Right on, man. Night-night. Hey, that was fun. Let's do that again sometime. You are pretty handy when it comes to breaking stuff. I'm sure there's a job in there somewhere. Yeah, it's called demolition. <laughs> you can actually get a job doing that. Holy shit! I found my calling! I'm glad I could help facilitate this. Oh, so I looked up people who attract insects. It seems to come down a lot to heat various odors. <laughs> they can't get enough of this! <laughs> I guess not. Good night, May. Night! Oh, we're getting closer. Oh, I love it. All right, now we can go to bed. Ooh. I love these dream sequences. They're so... I don't know. <laughs> ah! Oh, we're finding more musicians. Okay.
we go. It's nothing like the first one. I think I found them all. Was interesting. Any new messages? Hey, boyo. At work all day. Very bored. <laughs> work sucks. <laughs> I'm feeling ignored. <laughs> Crap Falcon, more like it. Oh, I'm sorry, Greg. Hey, got a call from Mrs. Miranda. Apparently, she's upset that we messed up her basement. Whatever. She didn't pay us to clean it up. I'm at work all day. Just saying. You want to say hello? I'm here to be helloed at. <laughs> Aww. Morning. Long night. Yeah. I went to work with B. Oh. Are you gonna work there? No, Mom. I was just tagging along. So, I was, like, really useful. Mm-hmm. It was a new and exciting feeling. Mm-hmm. You, you, you okay? Yeah, I've just been doing boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. Just like budget, bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. Okay, well, I'm gonna head out. Mm-hmm. Have a nice day. Oh man. <laughs> My mom's starting to get annoyed. Oh no. Numbers, numbers, numbers. When are you gonna get a job? <laughs> I'll get a job when I'm ready! Oh, it's not... Oh, yeah, because, um... We'll be able to see the, uh... The stars today. Hey, Borowski! Yep. Up here on my roof. Yep. Come to hunt some more dust stars? Definitely. Come, have a look. Ah, my eyes! <laughs> Filter! <laughs> oh. <laughs> my eyes! Oh, the ones we found are, um, they stay there. That's cool. My eyes! <laughs> Let's have a look. Ooh. Sterling the Seer. How come I've never heard of these guys? Eh. At the time they got to, the, to these rare stars, well-known myths and legends were taken. Oh. This one, Sterling's tale of the world changing, leaving one behind. These are all just gonna be bummers, huh? <laughs> Was he not a psychic? These are all gonna be bummers, huh? That is not for me to say. Is it a bad thing for the world to move on? Well, I mean, this guy probably doesn't think so. Either way, one day his king met a new sage. 
an astronomer. She showed the king how the planets and stars orbit in regular patterns and why. The king kicked Sterling out of his quarters. But the seer had long told the king a different story about the stars. Did Sterling believe his own story? That sounds fair. Well, I mean, if he believed it, like, I don't know. I mean, it's still wrong. But maybe he wasn't trying to be malicious? I believe he did. Well, that's how things go. Is there no responsibility to care for those whose labors, even one's universe, are suddenly replaced with a new one? Are they obsolete? That's how life is. No. I don't know. That's how life is. So you believe that some should go hungry and without homes because they are no longer useful? To those in power? Well, jeez, Mr. Chazakov, when you put it that way! <laughs> Stars, they make one think. Hmm. Boom! Found one. Let's see. Ooh. Ah, yes, Simone, the fighter. She got a gun. Simone lived in a good land, but under every good land are the roots of oppression. And in this land, those roots took hold and choked out all else. That was poetic, Mr. Chosikov. Jeez. <laughs> Thanks, I was just reading the summary off my phone. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. We may not have signal, but we have Wi-Fi! Anyway, when the borders closed and the curfew began, Simone and her comrades began to plot. They infiltrated, they sabotaged, they freed prisoners. Very nice. Simone was one of the first to be identified, but she evaded capture even as the wanted posters went up. As whispers of her grew throughout the land, more and more and more of her neighbors prayed in the night that Simone would be their salvation. Was she? That's a lot of pressure to put on one person. She was not alone, of course. She was but one part in a growing organism, but she became a symbol. It is difficult to think of many things, so sometimes having a symbol for all of them is important. Like numbers. I do not know where Simone is buried. Ah, oh, god damn it! I knew this wasn't gonna be happy. We do know that when things boiled over, she led a charge against the palace gates, and behind those gates were cannons. Oh no. Many years later, when the mass graves were exhumed, her bones were mixed with so many others. It was said that she now lives on in the bones of all in her country. Jeez, that got dark, and sad, and spooky. Heh <laughs> That is history! That's both of them for today. Neato! I really like the constellations. So interesting. Wow, that was pretty great! Come by again! Couple days! We shall hunt the stars! Hey, hey, hey. Sterling and Simone. Cool. Alright, gotta go seal a pretzel. <laughs> gotta feed my children! Is that grandma here? Oh, she is! Okay, let's take the pretzel first. Easy now. <laughs> Just like a dinosaur, baby. Hey, 
Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. How are you feeling today? Oh, I feel the damp and the cold down here. But it's in my bones wherever I go, so no harm. Did you want to talk about my grandpa? Oh, yes. Uh, where was I? Something about a tide rolling out? Troublemakers in my family? Right, right. Back then, there were places that brought us all together, or at least brought us together in bits and bobs. The old Smokies, the Grand Bears, the Lodge of Old, the Church and the Union. There'd be dances up at the HB. That's where I met your grand granddad. Oh, a lifetime ago. What was he like back then? Plain in most respects, prone to fits of melancholy. But funny and wild when the occasion called for it. Surprising is, I guess, the word. Hmm. What your daddy say about him? Strict but nice. Distant but trying? Aww. Sounds about right. That sounds... You alright, Miss Rosa? Oh, yes. Let's talk another time. Okay. Hope you feel better? Oh, May. Oh, dear May. Aww! What's wrong, Miss Rosa? <laughs> I feel sad! You say anything different? Wife long gone. Kids don't care. Jesus! <laughs> Tunnelfish are always there. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Oh god, please don't listen. <laughs> this poor man! I hope that was just a song and not really what's going on in your life. Oh shit. Wipes gone, kids are gone, and now he's just eating sewer fish? It's awful. Let's see if I'm, uh... I just don't want to miss anything, so let's go back to the church. I mean, the dialogue's always changing, so I guess it's best to, like, just talk to everybody every single day. Hey, Mom! Can't talk today. Lots to do. You're just sitting at a desk reading a book. Really? What could possibly be going on? Well, sweetie, we have the town council here today. And after that, a 12-step program meeting in the basement. Oh, wow. And I'm doing both church budget and our budget at the same time. I'll leave you alone then. Thanks, hon. Uh, it looks like she's starting to get like, okay, you've been here for a couple of days. What are you doing? I wonder, did May like tell her like, well, no, because when we, in the first episode, like the mom tries to talk to her like, hey, May, like, is everything all right? Like, you know, you can talk to me. And then May doesn't want to talk about it. And then she says like, college sophomores don't just leave May, like, you know, so I wonder if she like, I, 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 I bet she has, like, an idea, like, okay, my daughter dropped out, but she doesn't want to, like... Again, I don't know if what May... Like, we don't know about everything about May yet, so... I'm I'm leaning to thinking that, like, I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt that something must have happened at college that made her leave, and she's not just being a lazy bum. Uh... But I don't know, it kind of looks like the mom is starting to <laughs> get annoyed. Pastor still here. He's very nice. Yeah, and he can be like the first. A trial run. Where would you put him? Oh, in the basement. Or in the old library? All the books? He's not going to eat them. Interesting proposal, Kate. Yes, 
Thank you for bringing this to us. I look forward to us moving forward together on this. It'll be brought up at the town council meeting. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, troops, move out. You are not troops. Oh my God. People are fucking annoying. City council and HOA associations. Fucking annoying. Okay. <laughs> How's things? Okay. Weird dreams. Want to talk about it? Not really. I dreamed I was trapped in a wall. Jeez. No, that was fine. I knew the rescue crew was coming in a few hours, and it was cozy. No, oh, I could take a nap, guilt-free. Feel guilty about naps? Wish I didn't. How's that whole thing with Bruce going? I'm hopeful and positive. Sounds like what someone says when they're not. <laughs> it's fine, May. It's going to be fine. No, watch how the city, the those council dudes, like they say Bruce can't live in here. And winter's coming, so either Bruce figures out like something quick or something bad is gonna happen later down the line. Let's see if he's still there. Seen a fire through the trees last night. Past these woods here. Weird noises. I just kept it to myself. And they went away. That sounds spooky. Where? Sounds spooky. Been around a lot of places. Ain't spooked by much. But out past that water tower. Yeah, that's a place where teens hang out. Let's hope that's all it was. In my experience, strange fire and strange voices, they ain't never been good. Wonder if they'll be back. Hope not. Huh. Okay. Hope you're doing all right there, buddy. All right, let's go feed the rats and then move on with the story. All right, my little miracle rats. There are more? Where's the other one? Come on! Wow, there's so many of you! Someday you won't need me anymore, and you'll leave! I'll even recognize you out on the street! <laughs> As we pass each other! <laughs> I love you, Miracle Rats! It's cute how <laughs> May just comes up here and feeds the rats. Oh, Lori's still up there. Kid, what you up to? Hey, adult. Nothing. Sounds good. I was gonna go down to the tracks. Did you want to come? Sorry if that sounds boring. You don't have to go. It's okay. <laughs> Jeez, let me answer before you, you decide I said no. 
Oh, okay. Did you want to go? Sure. Oh, good. Yeah, it'll be fun. Let's rock. Wow, been a while since I've been here. My house is like three minutes from here. I got the longest night lights from last year still up. <laughs> Someone on my streets does that too. We got pumpkins last year and we let them out too long. And they, like, liquefied. Ew! <laughs> Gross. Oh yeah, I remember that happened with ours one year. My mom was so mad at my dad. <laughs> it was his job to get rid of them. He had to, like, mop it up. I've seen, like, a time-lapse video of when a corpse decays, and, like, everything just liquefies. <laughs> We're all just goo deep down. <laughs> Meat and carbs, that's all we are. <laughs> yep. Okay, so, like, a cool thing to do is squish a metal thing on the tracks. I like that a lot. Cool. I brought a little metal dude. Let's see what happens. Sounds good, kid. I come out here at night sometimes, fall asleep between the tracks. That... That doesn't sound good! <laughs> that sounds dangerous! I feel excited and I can sleep. You ever have that... We're so excited to go to sleep? No! Coffee makes me sleepy. I have stress dreams if I'm too keyed up. I don't remember my dreams. Sometimes I fall asleep for like five minutes, but sometimes it's for like an hour. That's some risky business there. Oh! Oh my god, no! <laughs> They're just so nonchalant about it! I have weird thoughts. Like, sometimes I want to go sleep in the woods, or in the basement, an abandoned house during the day, and only come out at night and be, like, a monster and, like, beautiful. I know the feeling. Those are, like, really attainable dreams. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not beautiful. What? You're, you're a cute little mouse. <laughs> Oh, you're fine. No one your age likes how they look. I'm objectively gross. Way less gross than I was. Do you think? Guaranteed. Aww. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see what we got. Whoa! Yay! Your little metal guy is all... Wow! He represents the human soul. This is important art. <laughs> well, I gotta get rolling. Okay, okay, okay! Let's roll. Aw, Lori is adorable. See ya! Aww! Oh, look at the little- Oh, Lori M. Horror movies and trains. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Oh, you're such a little cutie! I love you! Oh, can we see Angus? It's been a minute since I've seen him. Yay! Hey, May. Hey, Angus. How's Video Land? Good, good. Start of the Halloween rush. Got a pretty good horror section. Nice. Got a favorite? What, horror movie? Yeah. Scythe Sabbath, Black Oaks. Scythe Sabbath. Ooh, Italian. Yeah, they don't mess around. Pretty colors. 
pretty everything. Well, see you later. Bye. <laughs> no! I like you, Angus. Why can't I hang out with you? I just want to hug him. He looks so soft and fluffy. Bears are just great. Oh, look at this otter! He's so cute! Hey, CJ? Yeah? You were, like, in high school and I was in middle school. Oh. Huh. Did, did I know you? I used to play nerd games with Tom Bramwell across the street from my house. <laughs> nerd games. That's quite a memory you got there. Do you live here anymore? Nah, just back here visiting. For nerd games? <laughs> they were like pen and paper role-playing stuff. Cool. <laughs> but no, I'm just here visiting family. Husband's driving down tomorrow. What do you do now? Lawyer. Damn! <laughs> oh, wow. Can I ask you some law stuff? Well, I'm not acting in a professional capacity. <laughs> But yeah, sure. What's the best way to rob a bank? What's the best way to get out of jail? Well, depends on the situation. You see, like, would you dig through the wall? Or like, attack a guard and, and take their pants and their identity? Or like, I don't know, just cause a riot or something? Huh. <laughs> What's the best prison gang? Like, if you had to pick. <laughs> You know, we don't really learn that kind of stuff in law school. What's the point of, like, going to college if you don't learn useful shit? Laws are pretty useful. Useful my ass, CJ. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome back. Have a nice visit. Oh, <laughs> uh, see ya. <laughs> no, you're so cute! I love otters! Not as much as I love bears. But otters are pretty great, not gonna lie. So how did that arm- oh yeah, I, I completely forgot- did, did everyone just forget about the arm? Cause I did! So how did that arm get here? Someone just running down the street. Whoops, my arm fell off. I'll just come back for that later. It's weird how it was the daytime and no one else noticed except us. Oh, we can go past here now. Heart of Hometown since 1972. Food Donkey! And it's closed. Oh, there's a, uh, what, what, a uh, germ? <laughs> hey, germ. Hey. Wanna hang out? I don't know. I'm supposed to hang out with Gregor B tonight. Jeez, I'm not asking you to run away and get married. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Okay, what do you want to do? Follow me. Ooh. We're here. We're we're in the parking lot. Yeah. We walked for like 15 seconds. It's like really big here. I could throw a rock and hit where we were just standing. You can see like all the sky here. Oh wow, you can. <laughs> Okay? <laughs> okay, so seriously, we're just looking at the parking lot? Sometimes. Sometimes? Sometimes in the morning. If you're up on the hill back there, a whole bunch of fog passes over the lots, and it's like an ocean. And there's a herd of deer that come through. And it's like magic. Wow. Why did we ever need this much parking? Railroads, jobs, Stores. <laughs> Jobs. <laughs> People used to work at the glass factory, and I guess some folks still work at the sewing place. There's some other factories somewhere back here at some point, too. All gone now, though. Yep, just a lot of asphalt, weeds, and broken glass. It's so pretty, I love it! Hmm. You know, if they ever do anything with this, in a bunch of years, this is gonna be like, 
regular ground. Wow. What's gonna happen to the parking lot? Nature's old. It waits. It, it waits you out. <laughs> That's spooky. Okay, we're done. <laughs> That's it? What? Let's go. Hey! So, I've been having... I have to go now. Bye. Wait, what? What, what the hell was that? Aww. Okay. Is there anything past here? No. Nothing. Alright, well I guess we can go talk to B now. Hey dude. Hello. How's working here going? Eh, I don't know. It pays. I, like, refuse to unload all that rock salt by myself. It's not even Halloween yet. <laughs> hey, May. How's the pickaxe? Trying to kill me. Unsuccessfully. As far, at least. What's so stressful? Well, on top of everything else, we're hosting that stupid Harfus play tomorrow. Oh, wow! Yeah. I'm never offered to do this. I'm never offering to do this again. What are you up to tonight? Uh, nothing. I'm like super tired. Because everything about my life is exhausting. And I'm doing the work of like three employees plus a store owner. Even though I'm one employee and I do not own the store. <laughs> oh, weird. I thought for some reason you own this place now. You'd think. But also, no. I'd rather die. Literally, make me a coffin. Using materials and tools from this very store. <laughs> and bury me anywhere else. Jeez, that got tense. Ugh. Anyway, I'm doing nothing tonight. I can do nothing too? Mm. <laughs> Fine. So, are we doing this? Let's hang out! What the- <laughs> Ivy! Germ! Where did you go? Hi, May. Hi, Germ. Hey, dude! <laughs> we, we literally just hung out, but hey, dude! Germ is helping me move stuff from under the table cache. Well, I'm knocking off some early- Uh, knocking off work early to pick up some groceries. Wanna come? Sure! Grocery shopping! Ready to go? You got a lot of hammers! Holy shit, there's so many kinds of nails! Alright then. He's like something out of a children's book. About whatever the hell he is. <laughs> Dinner at B's. Aww! This place killed the food donkey! Yeah, kinda. Food! You know, no one who works here had anything to do with that. True. <laughs> Donkey! No, true. Okay. I need to grab a few things quick. Aw, I thought we were gonna hang out! Uh, we are hanging out. I'm just here to grab something for dinner for me and Dad. I don't feel like I'm doing the big shop tonight. Let me pick out what we have! Oh, I'm sorry, are you coming to dinner? <laughs> Can I? Um, I guess. Are you asking? I wasn't, but now it feels weird not to. I'll pick out what we eat then. Wait, you're serious? Yeah! You know what? Go for it, I hate shopping. Need, like, a main course and two sides. Fancy? <laughs> it counts as a main course. <laughs> Fancy. Eh, we're traditional. What kind of main course? You can stop back in the meat section once you pick out whatever else. What about dessert? We're not children. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't 
adults can have dessert. Appetizer? We're on a budget, May. Okay, okay, okay. You hang out and I'll be right back. Just make it quick and not too horrible. Also, Dad's sensitive to broccoli. Oh, also, no shoplifting this time. Aww. I can afford a few groceries, May. Also, this place has cameras. Good point. Alright. We're gonna get the best food for bees so she'll love me. Okay, we got... What is that? Tash? What is that? Succotash. Oh. Succotash. Succotash. What is Succotash? What is that? No, I don't want that. What is that? Green beans? Yeah. What is that? Beets? No, cream and chicken soup? I said, what is that? Beets! <laughs> no, I don't want that. No. Okay, what's over here? Mac and cheese? You can't go wrong with that. Tasty taters? Mashy smooth? Nice rice. Um... Mac and cheese. Good old mac and cheese. Let's do it. Mmm, boy. Delicious. Cool sides. Quick skits. Cream greens. No, I don't want any of that. Mm, should I get bakey shaky? That goes well with meat. Bakey shaky? Oh, shake and bake. <laughs> sure. Okay, um... Uh, let's get the green beans. Is that everything? Hey, I can't walk any further. Check out the cooler. It's got stuff. Oh, I, I have to get something from each area. Okay. Alright, what do we want for the cooler? Quick skits? Quick skits. No, I want the quick skits. Alright, now we got it. My dad works at the deli. We could go there for the meats. Okay. Oh, my dad works here! Ahoy there, ladies! Hey, Dad! Hey, B! Long time no see! <laughs> How are you, Mr. Broski? Can't complain! Just me and the meats! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Meet friends! Just you? Meet friends! Helps to stay friendly with your prime cuts and best fishes. True. Still weird seeing you here. Beats the alternatives. I think I saw my old music teacher when we came in. Oh yeah, that was Mr. Armstead. Looks like it's his job to say hello to people? Yep, called a greeter. I knew I recognized him from somewhere. Alternatives? Not working. Oh. <laughs> what are you lovely ladies doing here? Just grabbing something for dinner. How's your dad? Alright. What can I get for you ladies? Ground beef. Chicken. One of your best fishes, please. Pork chops. Mm -hmm. Ground beef. I guess for like a meatloaf? Ooh. Meatloaf. Oh god, that sounds awesome. Chicken. One of your best fishes. Mm. Pork chops. I want the meatloaf. Classic. Hmm. Do I want to pull the trigger on these meats? You should come by for dinner sometime. <laughs> At the Ham Panther? At home, May. <laughs> I'll grill us up something nice. Ooh. We can shop up just about anything back back here. That would be nice, thank you. Yeah! Okay, let's get our meats! Coming right up. Alright, dinner decided. I'm not even looking at what you got. 
That's how straight up tired I am. <laughs> it's gonna be great! All right, let's keep moving. All right, ladies, let's see what all, see what all you got. Mmm, mm, yes, okay. Looks completely 100% okay. All right, thanks, Mr. Broski. Tell your dad I said hello. See you later, dad. All right, ladies. That was fun. Yep, groceries. Really makes you appreciate life. Your sarcasm is invalid. <laughs> Shopping is fun! Woohoo. Well, <laughs> Enter time. This is okay. Thanks! Yeah. It's all right. Thanks. Yeah, it'll do. Thanks. <laughs> uh, thanks. He did find me. Did I fuck up? Wait. Oh my god, were you actually supposed to like? I just gr I I didn't know if it mattered or not. Wait, what? Why? They I think they're upset. You did find me. Thanks. Can't go wrong with meat and carbs. Thank you, May. I'm really good at food. I don't know if I've mentioned this. Are, I, I can't tell. Are they angry or are they just like looking down at their food? Because May is looking down at their food and I can only see one pupil and B's eyelid is covering up everything. So I can't really tell with her. <laughs> I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I got a really good grade in home ec back in home in high school. I made this t-shirt. Hey, hey, can you fix my pants? Any money in it? Dad, we can get you some new pants. So, yeah, we're all paid up until the 15th next month. Alright. That rock salt sorted? Yeah, should be fine. Is Rob still driving that big truck? As far as I know. Okay, uh... I need you to sign some things. Left them on the bar. I think I might just get to them. Please do. We have to pay the guys in a few days. I don't need you to remind me. I know, but... I don't, Beatrice. Whose name's on the deed? Yours, Dad. Whose name is on the checks? Yours. Melter's playing tonight. We're gonna go hang out in my room. Yeah. You girls have a nice time. Thanks for dinner, May. Yep. Ooh, that was kind of awkward. <laughs> Smelters, huh? You a fan? Not really. I like hockey. Hockey? Psh! What's that to like about hockey? Bunch of men prancing around on ice. Hey! Have you seen a hockey game? No! Those men are brutal! <laughs> what are you talking about? Prancing on the ice. And beating the living crap out of each other? Yeah! <laughs> eh, can't get excited about a puck. But, but, it's like, expected that someone's gonna be bleeding by the end. No sportsmanship in it. What do you mean? How is what I described not sportsmanship? Eh. What the hell? Hockey's awesome. Did you guys just move in? Ten months ago. Why aren't you unpacked? Okay, that's not a good question to ask. Pretty cool record player. Your old room was like, I don't think she wants to talk about it. As far as record players go, it was my mom's. 
I don't have any records. I don't get records. My mom was into them. <laughs> they were retro when she was my age. They're retro now. That's how retro works. So, I've got a question. Mm-hmm. What exactly does your dad do at that store? Your dad's kind of up and down, huh? He has good days, he has bad days. Often in the same day. <laughs> Craig's always been like that too. Just more, uh, zany about it. Well, Greg sh is probably bipolar. Gee, thanks, Dr. B. Whereas my dad is having a years-long breakdown. You're on the whole store now, right? More or less. Yeah, but it's still his name on everything. Yep. And meanwhile, you're running basically everything. Yep. And, and, working there every day, too. Yep. <laughs> I just think you shouldn't. Okay. I just think you're selling yourself out. I would probably just- I don't know. I don't agree, May. I don't like either of these. Like, I get why May is saying this because, like, she's kind of, like, still childish. And she doesn't know anything about the real world. <laughs> but, um, considering the fact that B's mom didn't, like- died not that long ago. She said, if I remember correctly, she said senior year of high school. And again, if I remember correctly, I think it was said that B, uh, uh, that May was at college for like maybe two or three years. Not that long ago. I feel like for something as traumatic as a death, that's something that you would definitely remember even three years after the fact that your best friend's mom like died. So, the mom died, the dad's probably grieving, which, unfortunately, he's taking it out on his daughter. But it's not like B can just quit, because the dad's clearly not working because of the wife dying, right? So if he doesn't do it, if B doesn't do it, they're just gonna lose their business. B can't leave. I just think you're selling yourself out and probably just quit. I I hate both of these uh, these statements, but this one's probably better than the second one. I'm sorry, what? Like, you not doing anything about it just reinforces... Is this really the road you want to go down with this? I'm saying you should stand up for yourself or just, like, quit. I'm saying it's not right that you just roll over and take it. Take it? Take it? You're doing all the work and he's getting all the credit! Oh, go to hell. What? Why? Ugh. What is your problem? Here's some reality for you. You know Creek? Repair guy Creek? At the shop? No? Yeah? I- wait, Repairman Creek. Um, was that the dude that was in, at the bus stop? That dude- that- that bird? If so, then yeah? Yeah, you met him when we were kids. When I was 15, he asked my dad if he could teach me how to drive. And my dad said no, and then told me not to be alone with him. Oh. What the? Yeah. Exactly. And you know what? He still works for us. Why haven't you fired him? I can't fire people. And even if I could, he's on the crew. Frankly, he's our best guy. Practically heads up the repair team. Since my dad's barely doing anything, and Creek's got a family, and he needs to work. It's disgusting. Sick. Yeah, me too. I'm really familiar with that feeling.
I'm just saying, if you keep letting these dudes off the hook, off the hook, like, you're stronger than this bee. You're like, badass and shit. Oh my god, shut the fuck up, May. You... Badass? My mom dying was not very badass. Me sitting in this room right now is not very badass. Okay, sorry, I... You are such a shithead, you know that? Oh, what the hell? A lot of time, folks can't just choose to do whatever it is you decree to be the right thing. A lot of times people do the things they do because they can't do anything else. You always have a choice. You can always choose. Oh my god, May. Says the child woman with no job, no rent, no responsibilities, and no consequences for your stupid actions. I'm seriously going to punch your goddamn lights out. You come in here and start telling me how I'm screwing things up. You want to come in here and say, Oh yeah, just ditch your dad, who's both getting old and can barely get the couch half the time? You want to come in here and say, Oh yeah, just start this big drama and make your life way more stressful? It's just not right is what I'm saying. That is not what I'm saying. Oh, what are you saying then? Uh, I don't know anymore. Like, Greg is probably off doing God knows wh what wacky shit right now. I'm here making dinner and doing payroll. You know, like nothing about my life. You just know what I should do. And you're the last person I'd ask for advice. Okay, okay, I I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Everyone's sorry. But you don't get it. I thought... I thought we were having fun. We went to the mall. We, we got stuck in a basement. Yeah, and that was all you did those days. I worked a good six hours before you even woke up, probably, and came home each night after you and I were done to pay bills and figure out how we're going to make next payroll. While Dad slept on the couch. This isn't fun. I should go. Yeah, you should go. Fuck! Fucking hell, May. Sometimes you just need to shut up. Beef. Can't go wrong. Jesus Christ. I how did I mess that up? I wanted to help. I'm garbage. Yeah, you are, May. Oof. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. I was socializing. Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's what I don't that's why I don't do much of it. <laughs> Pleasant surprise seeing you at work tonight. Yeah, I can't believe I hadn't visited yet. Well, you haven't been back long, and you're not usually lurking at the Ham Panther. Just to say I'm not. Well, it was nice seeing you anyway. Lurk lurk. Any idea what was uh, up with Bomb today? Oh, she's just stressed. That's vague. <laughs> well, I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you spend a lot of adulthood being vaguely stressed. Aw, oh, dang. I thought the stress would at least get more specific. <laughs> oh no, you'll have that too. Mm. Cheer up, kiddo. It's only life. Gee, thanks, Pops. So how about that? <laughs> those crawl space boxes? Yeah, okay, I'll move them. TV time? Yeah! And we're back! 
great crowd in uh, great crowd in here tonight. We never leave for too long, folks. Say Garbo. Yeah, boy. Crowds like this remind me of our early days. I disagree. None of them are angry and drunk. <laughs> Most of them, anyway. <laughs> no, I mean those old nights, those good nights. Just the heat of the stage lights and the thrill of winging it. And the gentle thump of an empty beer bottle thrown at your head. <laughs> These days, things are pretty cushy. You think we're getting soft? You sure are. Around the midsection. That's a wappa. <laughs> this is awful. Boy, it's company policy to never body shame. Oh, I never worry about that, Garbo. Why is that, Malloy? I'm what you call body shameless. <laughs> Coming up next, Garbo and I go to counseling! Turn this garbage off! Dad, your brain is gonna rot! <laughs> well, it's better than drinking. All right, well, oh yeah, let's check the computer. Fuck. May, we were doing good. And then you ruined everything. Now May doesn't like me again. And now I feel, I feel, every time I look at, I look at Greg's icon, I feel, I kind of feel like a dick because it's, it, it's like I'm ignoring him. Hey, kid. Hey, yo. What you up to? Nothing. Kind of bummed tonight. Aw, why? No reason. Just happens. Must be going around. I just got to a fight with B. Oh no! About what? I don't even know. I think I'm just an asshole. Yeah, you are. You and me both. The asshole twins. We can get matching jackets with that on the back. <laughs> Varsity jackets. With giant asshole patches on the sleeves. <laughs> All right, dude, I'm cashing out for the day. See ya, neuter! Hey, B. You there? Yep. I don't really know how I screwed that up, but I'm so Seriously, May? You don't know how you screwed that up. You, you don't... Uh, you don't? Oh my god. Again... I get it, May is a very childish person compared to B, but it's just like, come on, man. I feel like e even like even if she had said like the initial wrong statement, like the, the minute you saw how agitated B got, you should have just shut up. Just shut up. <laughs> it's fine. I'm going to sleep. See you later. Okay. Fuck. Damn it, May. Okay, let's see if there's another, um, go to sleep. It's probably another dream sequence that I gotta go through, and then we'll end the episode there. the train
wow, that was a thing. What? So what's what are the what's the meaning of these dreams? Like, who are the, are the musicians supposed to be people that May has met before? Or is that also symbolic? What's with all the at the end of each dream? There's all these realistic animals that that pop out and like it, it looks like May like. May is dissolved like when the when the when the when the animal pops up, May like dissolves, and then it, it all the the dream just ends. I, I I don't know. I don't know what any of this means. Um, but yeah. Anyway, guys, this was a good episode. I liked it. I I'm mad at May because she's a fucking dumbass who doesn't know when to shut up. Like, I'm pretty childish, and even I would not have said that to anyone. That, that pissed me off. Like, ugh, all that hard work of making me like me, sort of, kinda, and now I'm I'm back down to zero. Ugh. Yeah, and... Ooh, that, that, like, going back to that scene uh, with the dad, where, you know, B was kind of, like, trying to speak up for herself about the, the, the store, and then he's like, you know, who's the one who's in charge? Who's the one whose name is on the checks? And it's really weird because he's talking like regular, then he does that, and then he goes back to talking regular again. Ugh. But again, it, maybe he wasn't always like that. I don't know. And because he recently lost his wife, uh, you know, it he, maybe that's what's making him this way, you know. But anyway, guys, we've made it to the end of this episode. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Please leave a like if you like the video. Leave a comment down below. It helps me out. Subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. Have a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. Know that you are loved, each and every one of you. See you all in my next episode. Alright guys, see you later.